I know the demonstration goes by pretty fast, so I thought I'd give you a quick review of the three steps and a few points to go with it. Step number one was to pretexture the surface of your canvas. I used an acrylic gesso and a palette knife. You could also use uh, a product such as a modeling paste or any of the acrylic gels if you wanted a heavier texture yet. And um, for a larger canvas, this can do the job for putting that texture in. Rollers, whatever you want to imagine and press into that surface while it's wet to leave a texture on it. Let that layer dry. Step two, have some paint that will respond well to water. So in Windsor & Newton it should say uh, flow formula and then you can either pre-wet the surface or you can mix water in with the paint first as well as wet the surface. And if you really want to improve the flowing, there is this flow improver from Windsor Newton that you can also mix with your paint. Um, the idea is to have the colors flowing freely and doing pretty things that they will do. And just, I like to start without any subject in mind, just have fun with the colors. After that layers dry, go back in with the paint again, a thicker consistency, and define your subject if you want, or find a focal point if you prefer the more abstract effect, that's fine too. And just bring out what you have seen happen with those colors. Lastly, often when I'm working very bright color, I like to um, I like to have a very gloss finish. And in that case, I would pick up a gloss medium and literally pour that onto the surface. Make sure that your painting is laying nice and flat so it's not going to slowly flow off one of the edges. And you can do a couple of layers if you want a really thick gloss on it. So that's your steps reviewed. Happy painting.